map makers, we've got a problem. The earth is a sphere, and because of this, map makers have been forced to find creative ways to accurately portray the earth. Because the earth is round, there is no way to show it as flat. All maps in some way are distorted or inaccurate. Map makers, also known as cartographers, must choose the correct map projection for their purposes. A projection is a way in which the map is designed, and there are many, many, many different types of map projections. Despite the variety of options, most map makers are trying to develop generally used maps or maps that can be used for a variety of purposes. This is why map makers usually choose one of three different types. There are cylindrical projections, conic projections, or flat plane projections. Let's start by looking at cylindrical projections. Cylindrical projections are based on the cylinder wrapped around the globe. The cylinder touches the globe only at the equator. The meridians are pulled apart and are parallel to each other instead of meeting at the poles. This causes land masses near the poles to become larger than they really are. This map here is a Mercator projection, one type of a cylinder projection. The Mercator projection is useful for navigators because it shows true direction and shape. However, it distorts the size of the land areas near the poles. The pros of this projection are that the size and shapes of settled land masses tend to be accurate. This is because any distortion tends to be at the poles where most people do not live in large numbers. The cons, obviously, of a cylindrical projection is that it tends to distort the north and south poles of the global map. Also, distance tends not to be an accurate portrayal. Notice that the longitude lines remain parallel while the latitude lines progressively become further and further apart. This map tends to be used for readers to learn the shapes of populated land masses and not necessarily the distance or the size. Now let's look at conic projections. Conic projections are based on a cone placed over the globe. A conic projection is most accurate along the lines of latitude where it touches the globe. It retains almost true size and shape. Conic projections are most useful for showing areas that have long east-west dimensions, such as the United States, Russia, or even Canada. The pros of a conic projection is that if reasonable reference points can be selected for the map, like the North Pole, the resulting shape and distances can be very accurate. The cons are that it would be very awkward to many map readers if the map was constructed to view the entire world. The lines of a conic projection rely on a converging point. Thus, a world map would be heavily skewed. As a result, most map makers will rely on a conic projection for zoomed in areas of a map in the northern or southern portions of the world where the north and south pole may be used as reference. Finally, we'll look at flat plane projections. Flat plane projections are based on a plane touching the globe at one point, such as the north pole or south pole. A flat plane projection is useful for showing true direction for an airplane pilot or ship navigator. It also shows true area. However, it will distort the true shape of land masses, especially at their edges. The pros of this projection are that the perspective is what you would see from space, with most accuracy at the center of the map. The cons, however, are that as the reader looks towards the edges of the map, the features become more and more skewed. These maps, you will find, are rarely used in the classroom, but for global organizations such as research firms that require a zoomed in and accurate portrayal of a specific spot on Earth, this projection could be very, very valuable. Recognizing these projections will give you insight into the purposes of the map based on the map maker's needs and wants and desires.